My son Elijah is 16 years old and he is a remarkable cellist. He struggles with hearing loss in his left ear, which makes his cello playing even more remarkable. So the bottom line on the hearing test is his left ear and the top line is his right ear. So his right ear is pretty normal amazingly, but his left ear has some pretty severe loss. And I say it's amazing that his right ear can hear it all because his birth was really traumatic. He was four pounds, 11 ounces, delivered by emergency cesarean because there was back flow to the bus. Here he is after about 10 days in the NICU. They finally said he was okay to leave. Um, they did multiple scans of his brain, thinking that there might be brain damage because of everything he suffered in utero, but they said everything looked good. And the last day before we left, they did a hearing test and he actually failed in both ears. So I was really basically bracing myself that he was probably deaf, but we went to the audiologist and amazingly, his right ear was showing up as normal and his left ear still had the loss. I don't even know how that happened. It just feels like a miracle. Because his hearing loss was worse in the high frequencies, we had him play cello because the cello is a low instrument and he really took to it. Recently, he auditioned to be a VSA soloist and he was selected. The VSA soloist program um, highlights musicians that have disabilities. So as part of the prize, he got to play at the Kennedy Center and he also got a $2,000 cash prize, which he'll probably use for a new cello bow because he's saving up for one. He also got to meet some other amazing musicians that also have disabilities. They also flew him to Washington DC and gave him a hotel room and they also gave him a travel stipend. And instead of spending the stipend on Uber rides or whatever, he wanted to go all around Washington DC on a scooter. <laughs> he got to see the White House the Supreme Court, the Capitol Building, the Washington Memorial, and the Lincoln Memorial. It was an amazing experience. And I guess it was very warm in Washington, D.C. So they were just scootin scootering all around Washington, D.C. until midnight last night, and it was quite fun. <laughs>